Welcome back to Dirty Water Coins and Collectibles. Tonight we have a quarter hunt. I tried my best to get all customer wrapped rolls, but I ended up with 12 rolls or $120 in um, fed wrapped rolls. I tried to place them throughout uh, sporadically. So <clears throat> we'll, uh, we'll go through these, see what we can find. I'll bring you in on the first one and anything else after that. So we're going to be looking for silver, W's, uh, old silver, uh, eras, varieties, foreigns, really just about everything. Hopefully not too much scumbaggery, but we'll take it if we get it. Uh, really, we have no choice. Let's get into this hunt. I'll do the first seven rolls and then we'll get into the box. Be right back. Working on the seventh roll. I have a weir farm under the scope and we've got a broken branch. Another coin that's in good shape, so I'll definitely hold this one aside. And then I did get a um, Tuskegee. It's also in nice condition. So I'll hold this one aside too. All right, let's keep the hunt going. Bring you back with the next find. All right, I'm on roll 13. I have an Eleanor Roosevelt. If I tip this up, I'm trying to see. You can see that this is actually bumped off the coin. So I do believe that these, or at least this one, is a double die. So I'm going to put this aside as a DDR. Keep the hunt going. I'll refocus and bring you right back. Roll number 16 of the hunt. And I have a American Memorial Park under the scope with a decent sized die chip up on the flag. And the coin itself is actually in really nice condition. So... If I usually find these, they're all beat up and banged up, bag marks. So I'll hold this one aside. Still looking for that DDO. Uh, let's keep it going. Bring you right back. Just started in on roll number 17. And I have a homestead under the scope. We have an extra pump handle. So you can see that right in here. And I can't tell, I think this is part, I don't know if that's part of the original one or if that's part of the doubling right there. I don't know. And it looks like there could be some, something right there. I don't know. Let me see if I can put this on its side here. Yeah, I think there's something right there all right so we have an extra pump handle i'll put that to the side let's keep it going still on roll number 17 and i have a weir farm under the scope we have a broken branch and we got the walnut it's almost like a scoop of ice cream under his elbow there. So that's awesome. Been looking for that one for a little bit. So Brad, I might be sending this one to you. I don't know when. I need some money freed up, but I'm holding all of these aside. So expect a package at some point. All right. Let's keep it going. Be right back. I'm on roll 22 of the hunt, and we got something funky right here. Let's see. Million. We got a million bucks. We just hit for a million. I don't know what this is. Some sort of token for something. 
Let's get some funk on it. I don't know. We'll hold it aside. All right. This is cool. I've never found one of those before. So, all right, let's keep it going. Be right back. Roll number 29. I have a Teddy Roosevelt with the lines in the river and the potential doubling on the horse's jawline. So right in here, that looks like doubling to me. Maybe one day we'll find out or I'll send it out, but I just sent out a couple. I gotta wait for the funds to build back up. Let's keep it going. That one's in good shape too. Roll number 31. I have a Bessie Coleman under the scope with a fairly large die chip. So right here. We're looking for the one that comes all the way up and then over. But I'll hold this one aside for now. Let's keep the hunt going. Wrapping up roll number 36. And we have a homestead. And we've got a little dirty extra handle right there. Nice little pump handle. A little bit going on right there. And we've got a DDR. It's actually in good condition. I just would probably have to pick that funk off all right let's keep it going be back with the next find it's actually pretty cool right. roll number 50 out of 57 we've got a nice 1965 i did look at it we have no ddo or ddr but we have a nice strike so i'm going to check this against the album see if we get an upgrade all right, put it over here. Let's keep the hunt going. Be back with the next find. Roll number 56, and we have an amazing condition. 1972, Denver. Look at that. A ton of luster left on that. So I'm gonna hold this aside, try not to touch it as much. And where's my other? Good ones are up here. All right. Keep up with this roll. I got one more left. Be right back. All right. Nearing the end of roll 57. Under the scope, I have a 2020 Weir Farm. And we have a clash die. So clashing, clashing. It's a very minor. It's not a strong clash die. But it's still a clash die. I think that's really just about it on this one. All right, let's finish out this roll. Be right back. All right, that quarter hunt is over. 57 rolls. We had uh, 12 of those were Loomis wrapped or Fed wrapped, the rest customer wrapped, and it didn't really pan out this time. Can't win them all. Um, Seeing like these may have been hunted, I did find some stuff, but more your common, your heavily looked for varieties and errors were kind of picked off. Let's go over our hunts or our finds. I did get three 2018 pictured rocks, still no DDO. We did hit for a million. We have this token. See if I can look up any info on this. See if we can find some uh, clues as to what this was. We have our nice condition coins. We have a 1965 Philly, 72 Denver, 76 Philly. We had a couple um, Tuskegee Airmen and the AMP Philly. That was the one with the die chip on it. That's kind of starting with the die chip, but uh, we have these here have die chips. So Roosevelt has one on his shoulder, one on the plane, 
Here's the AMP with the one on the flag. We have two weir farms, uh, three weir farms, I'm sorry, broken branch, broken branch, broken branch, and walnut on the elbow. Here we have doubling. So there was maybe feeder finger lines in here and doubling in the jar of the horse, doubling in the weight. I had pump handle doubling in both of these different ones. And then our final find was the Clash Die Weir Farm, just a little bit by the Y in Liberty. All right, that does it for our hunt. Please hit that like button if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe also if you haven't done so. Hit that notification bell so you get notified on all of my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. All right, here's the new 65, the older 65. So I'm going to swap these two out. This one has better detail in the hair and better luster. So give me one second, I'll do that. 65 is in. Let me check the 72. 72 that's in there is nice, but the one I found tonight has more luster. So I'm going to swap these two out. Be right back. New 72 is in. Now I got to check the Bicentennial Philly. And the Philly that's in there actually is cleaner. So I think I'm going to leave that one alone. So no upgrade on the 76 Philly.